Hello, my friends. How are you doing? I hope you're all doing very good. Uh, I am sorry I've been so quiet lately. I've explained to you why. Um, but finally, we have news to tell. And they are good news. had um, a meeting last week with Child Welfare Services. I don't actually know the right terms in English because we're doing the adoption process in Switzerland where we live and we are planning on adopting from Brazil, which is where we come from. So I know a lot of the terms in Portuguese and in German, but in English, I don't know. I tried to, to Google the terms and so I don't know if the terms are adequate, if they're the right terms, if they're not, and you know what I'm talking about and what I should be saying, please leave it down in the comments below and um, I'll know what to say in the next video. Um, so the organization or the authorities that give us the, the approval to adopt in Switzerland is Youth Welfare Services. Um, and we were waiting on an answer from them on our approval because we um, previously had an approval to adopt a baby from Switzerland or nationally and then we decided to change the profile of the child or children and we decided to that we wanted to adopt older children uh, a group of siblings we originally applied for an approval to adopt two to three children from Brazil up to eight years old. Um, and since we decided on that change, we had to put on hold our approval for the baby because we cannot have two processes going on at the same time in Switzerland. So um, because we changed the profile, we had to go through the home study again and we actually had to go through it with the same social worker that uh, worked on our first approval for the baby. This process was very difficult. I'm gonna make another video one day talking about that. But anyways, we had some issues with the social worker and it did not go well, that, that part of the process. And so at the end, um, Youth Welfare Services actually asked us to go see a psychologist appointed by them so that we would have a second opinion by a second professional. And so we did these talks last year, end of last year, the second semester, we went and saw the psychologist. It was very uh, refreshing. It was nice because it was nice to talk to someone who actually heard us and who actually helped us. and. Um, was open to hear what we had to say about ourselves. And at the end, she um, talked to Youth Welfare Services and said that she uh, would recommend that they give us the approval. And that was um, her opinion. But we also have the, had the negative opinion of the social worker. So at the end, it was the youth welfare services that had to that was responsible for taking these two opinions and studying them and um, giving us the final answer. And we were waiting on that answer um, until the beginning of this month or at the end of last month when we received an email from them. Uh, asking us to go and, and talk to them and they wanted to explain to us what their plan was or the, what they were planning on on deciding. Um, we were kind of waiting for this already because the, we knew that the psychologist was um, inclined to, to say that it would be better for us to have two children uh, at once and not three. Um, but at the same time, it was still not the best news ever that we had to go in and talk to them because if they were just uh, planning on giving us the approval right away, then we wouldn't have to go in and talk to them. We would just receive the paper in the mail. 
Also, we had been feeling very discouraged and very tired as we shared with you guys in a couple of the last videos too. This process for us has uh, only the adoption process until now. It's, it's been five years since we started this process. And I know adoption processes are almost always very slow. Um, but by this time, normally people would at least already have the approval and they would be waiting for the child already. For They would have been waiting for the child for a couple of years and we are still, after five years, we don't even have an approval. Uh, so we were very discouraged. We were emotionally drained. We were uh, ready to to say, you know, let's at least take a break, um, concentrate on something else for a couple of years or for some time and let's just leave this project aside because we don't have any strength, we don't have any energy for that anymore. Uh, but we went in, we talked to the, to the lady at welfare, Youth Welfare Services. It was a very nice talk because because it's she's she's understanding and she is nice and we're just not used to <laughs> having that in the adoption process we ha we've had a lot more to do with people that were with this person that was not helpful uh, so to us it's almost kind of it's weird when someone is understanding and open and and nice to us in the adoption world where it should be the other way around I think but anyways uh, it was nice she herself uh, looked at us and she said you must be so tired and we said yes extremely we're extremely tired and unmotivated and discouraged but you know and so she said well we read both what the psychologist said and what the social worker said or wrote and through this what the psychologist wrote we could finally get to know you guys better and it matches with what we see in you when you come in here and talk to us and um, so it was very helpful to us to make this decision and we decided that we will give you the approval to adopt two children from Brazil um, up to eight years old and I must confess we are obviously happy and um, thankful but at the same time we are still very very tired and the reason why we're not jumping up and down yet is because this is just one more step ahead this is not the final decision because they we we still have to wait now two months before we move uh, because they want to see our new apartment first we will have to talk to a new social worker in this new city where we are going to be living she's gonna have to come to her house and, and see the apartment again and then they will issue another um, paper or report from this social worker saying um, that we are uh, approved to adopt um, from Brazil. So it's still gonna be a couple of months um, where we have to deal with things here in Switzerland and also to gather the papers that we have to send to Brazil. We actually have a lot of documents now that we have together and then we have to have them translated to Portuguese and then they have our dossier has to be like um, officialized or whatever and then sent to Brazil. Once the papers are in Brazil, they the organization or the government there is going to look at all this paper and uh, work and look at our dossier and issue us uh, an approval from Brazil itself. So we still have a couple of months before us and we still have so many things that could go wrong and we're just used to things going wrong in this um, in our journey um, to try to have children and so we are happy with this one little 
a step ahead in the process, but we are cautiously happy. Uh, the feeling is kind of like, could perhaps be compared to someone who has been pregnant a couple of times, has lost the baby or lost the pregnancy and they get pregnant again and they are excited but they're very afraid of being excited. I am not comparing the feeling of losing a baby uh, or a pregnancy to mm, all this that we have been living because I have never been pregnant. I don't know what that feels like. I know that is heart wrecking but I don't know what it actually feels like. I just know that our feeling right now is of um, we're very skeptic that this is going to happen indeed. We have a hard time believing that that we are indeed one day going to be parents and so we're excited it's good news but we're also we know that this is not final we know that we our house is still empty and it's not a guarantee that we will have children one day if if we ever get to have children guys i'm i don't even know how well i'll react because it's it's been too long it's been way too long since we started trying anyways i actually wrote last week i wrote about how i felt how we felt what we are feeling and what we were feeling before is much much better described than in this text that i wrote i am going to put that up on the the blog and put the link to the blog down below in the description of this video if you're interested in reading about what we have been feeling these past few weeks thank you so much for watching i hope you have a great day a great week and i will see you guys in the next video so have a nice week bye